Many of you have heard the message. Many of you probably were raised Christian, but you were like, no, I'd rather follow the world. But it is time to follow Christ. It is time to turn away from sin and come to Jesus. To turn away from the things that are not honoring God, my friend. Because the things that are not honoring God will condemn you. You see, depending on how you respond to the cross, either the grace of God will be upon you or the wrath of God will be upon you. If you respond in the right way to the cross, appreciating the cross, you will be born again. You will become a child of God. But if you despise the cross, you reject what God did for you on the cross, you will remain a child of the devil and the wrath of God will be hell abiding hell. upon you. Satan is going to lead you to hell. Satan is going to burn in hell. What did you come to do today? Worship Satan? You came to worship Satan? Rock and roll is going to send you to hell. You're deceived. And let me tell you something. God is holy, holy, holy and the whole earth is filled with his glory it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living god i suggest you get right with god today i suggest you make peace with god today you might end up overdosing you might end up dying today in a car crash time is short Stop corrupting yourself with this vile, dark music. You people are in darkness. You people are lost. You need to come to the light. Jesus Christ is the light of life. Brawlers will not inherit the kingdom of God. Those who take pleasure in godless music will not inherit the kingdom of God. Time for you people to honor God, give thanks to God, submit to God, your creator. You don't love God coming into this wicked event. You don't love God coming into this wicked event. If you love God, you would obey Him. The Bible says to fear God and obey His commandments. Jesus says, if you love me, you will obey me. Metallica is leading you to hell. ACDC is leading you to hell. Your pride is leading you straight into the depths of hell. Your unforgiveness is leading you to hell. Time to seek the Lord. Time is short. Time is ticking. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Tomorrow is not promised. You're not going to find eternal life in an adulterous relationship. You're not going to find eternal life in wicked rock music. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll will damn your soul. It's time for you to stay 600 feet away from Iron Maiden. Guns and Roses, because the closer you get to these things, the more you are influenced and defiled. There's no love here, woman. There's no love at this concert. A bunch of brawlers, a bunch of people full of rage, anger, bitterness, jealousy, envy. Oh, that's what we have going on. A bunch of people who cannot forgive their parents. A bunch of people who are filled with scars and wounds, hard-headed knuckleheads. They don't want to submit to God. They don't want to love their neighbor. They want to defile each other. You want to corrupt each other. You want to say it's okay for you to be angry. You want to say it's okay for you to have hatred in your heart. That bitterness is going to send you to hell. That unforgiveness in your heart is going to keep you from entering God's kingdom. It's time for you to know the grace and mercy of God so you can forgive others 
just as Christ is willing to forgive you. Contrary to popular opinion, a lot of your favorite rock and roll stars that have died are now burning in hell. They may be a star to you, but in God's eyes, these rock and roll singers will be put to shame. In God's eyes, these rock and roll singers are nothing but a bunch of children of the devil. And you love following them because you live just like the devil yourself. Shame on you parents, corrupting the next generation. <laughs> Iron Maiden is only leading you to hell. It's time to listen to music that glorifies God. It's time to listen to music that lifts up the name of Jesus instead of glorifying and promoting evil, godlessness, wickedness. There's gonna be no violence, no rock and roll in the kingdom of heaven, but guess what? You're not gonna be rocking and rolling. You're not gonna be nodding your head to metal in hell either. Time for you to be saved from this perversion. Time for you to flee from evil, darkness. This music is corrupting you. This music is not pure. This music is not holy. This music is of the devil. You should have nothing to do with it. You shouldn't flirt with sin. You shouldn't play around with sin. Sin is not your friend. Demons are not your friend. The devil is not your friend. These bands are nothing but prophets of the devil. These bands are nothing but a mouthpiece of the devil. The devil is using them as his instruments to corrupt you. The devil is using Iron Maiden, poison. The devil is using Metallica to corrupt you, to defile you, to cause you to blaspheme God, to cause you to curse God, to cause you to deny God's existence. Many of you are probably suicidal. By the looks of it, you have many demons. Jesus Christ can set you free from your depression, anxiety, emptiness. If you keep listening to this wicked music, you're only going to get worse. If you keep listening to this wicked music, your life is only going to get worse and worse. Your sense of vengeance is eating you up. Your anger, your hatred, your murderous desire is eating you up. It's time for you to be set free from your sin. Many of you are a slave to anger. You're a slave to bitterness. You're so ungrateful. When is the last time you gave thanks to God? You're godless, you're vile, you're evil. God created you. It is your obligation as the creation to honor and submit to the Creator. Pervert, you're a little pervert. You deserve hell because you're a little pervert. Perverts end up in hell. Pedophiles end up in hell. Whoremongers and hoochies end up in hell. 